we believe that it should be a collective effort to highlight both the impactful success stories of IDA and the potential that IDA still has. Indeed, IDA has great potential to help its recipients to leverage resources from other partners. For instance, in Tanzania, we have an infrastructure project in Dar es Salaam called the Simbazi Basin Development Project, which benefited from World Bank support worth $2 million. Having secured these resources, Tanzania has already been able to leverage an additional $60 million from other partners for this project, which aims at strengthening flooding of flood resilience and integrated urban development in our economic hub. Excellencies, in a bid to consolidate and building on the success or successes obtained during IDA 20, we are pleased to advance this most important dialogue on IDA 21. We are doing so at a time when Africa and the world are still facing the effects of multiple crises. In light of this crisis, coupled with significant, significant shortfalls in development finance and shrinking fiscal space, what is required in going forward are more concessional resources. Africa does not need sustainable what? You could call it sustainable underdevelopment. Africa needs social economic transformation. The pregnancy must become a baby. The baby must grow and grow and become a teenager. The teenager must grow. That's what happens in life. You cannot have quantitative growth and you think you are doing anything. The main reason why there is no growth is because the growth factors are not funded. They are not even understood. What are the growth, growth factors? We now talk of private sector led growth. Yes, but for the private sector to grow, what does it need? It needs low costs of production. Ministers of Finance, low costs of production. And what are the low costs of production? Number one, transport. You must have low transport costs. Where do low transport costs come from? From the railway. If you don't fund the railway, how will you get low transport costs? Wonderful people. Banco Mundial, IMF, all of these. Where will low cost operation come from? if you don't have a railway. Faced with a relentless challenge of climate change and escalating instability, our unity is our strength. Despite the myriad forces that threaten to divide us, we must remain focused on the ultimate goal, safeguarding the future of our civilization, the human race, and the diverse life forms that share our planet. Africa is eager to contribute to the solution. Our continent offers a viable and promising pathway to a future of prosperity for all humanity, harnessing our rich resources and innovative spirit. IDA's efficiency and effectiveness make it a unique force for good. Africa recognizes this and we don't take it for granted. We are setting an example with our ambitious plan for structural and systemic reforms underpinned by steadfast commitment to tangible results, transparency, and a robust partnership. 
given the enormity of the challenge faced by African countries and its global implications as collective emergency, we call on our partners to meet us at this historic moment of solidarity and respond effectively by increasing their IDA contribution from the US dollars 93 billion raised in 2021 to at least US dollars 120 billion.